So my friend Robert Louis just posted a comment on Facebook and he was quoting something from Robert Louis Stevenson uh, when the quote was, the spice of life is battle. Uh, it reminded me of um, something that happened at the gym, my CrossFit gym, yesterday or the day before. That was yesterday, yesterday morning. And uh, it was a guy working on muscle ups on the rings. And a muscle up on a ring, it's a gymnastic movement where you kind of take the rings and you pull yourself all the way up, all the way down and you move them to your sides, your ribs, and you push down until you actually stood kind of up on top of the rings. Um, uh, it's, it's pretty hard to do, it takes some time and effort. And I remember I remembered when I was doing it, um, what the different challenges were, not just physically with the movements, but also internally. And I could see when he was doing it, he was pulling down to this point and he just couldn't get it past here so he can get it here and push. And I was watching him and the other coach was giving him kind of tips and tricks about how to like move his hands and do these kinds of things and all that stuff's important but he was, I could see that's not what he was really missing. And, um, and so I just said to him like, hey man, it looks like you're fighting the battle at the point at which you're losing. Um, or sorry, you're fighting the, the battle, yeah, you're fighting the battle at the point at which you're losing the war. So the battle being, the, the, the pushing as hard as you can to get past that point, um, and, and the war overall is the whole thing, right? And so he was fighting the battle here at the point where he was losing the war. And, and I was like, actually, the reason you're fighting this battle here and losing this and losing the war is because you're, you're not even paying attention to the battle, the first battle, the battle at the beginning of the war, which is right at the top. And so... I said, like, fight the whole war at the moment you begin. That's, that's the battle you need to win. If you win that battle, you win the whole war. And so, and he just, I mean, this was after like 15 tries. He's really tired. He got up and he just exploded from the top. And then by the time he got to here, he had so much momentum that he went right over, pushed himself right up, and he had his first muscle up. And he came over and said, thanks after. And I was like, you're welcome. And it's, it's all in the head, isn't it? And, and so I, I'm sharing this story because... I love the idea of a battle, it's exciting, and, and we're fighting battles in our life, right? Like things, personal growth, challenges we're facing in our business. Um, and so I guess the question that I'm posing from this is whereabouts in your life are you fighting a battle to try to win the war, whereas if you stop trying to fight the battle right at the point where you're losing the whole war, what if you kind of took some steps back? And like, what if there was an earlier battle for you to fight, where if you did, then that one you keep, seem to keep losing would be so easy, you just blow right through it. Where can you fight an earlier battle that will have you win the whole war much more easily? Have a think. If you have anything that comes to mind, I'd love for you to share it down below in the comments. Uh, let me know. Oh, and by the way, I can see my reflection in the camera of this logo. This is uh, my friend's... Um, the new organization called Hack Humanity. Check out hackhumanity.org. They're a cool organization. So much love, guys. The spice of life is battle. Thank you, Robert Louis.